Hi, welcome to my channel, and I'm going to talk about, as you can see in the poster, uh, Thor Love and Thunder. And the format of my video is going to be, I'm going to do a quick take, and then I'm going to give my personal fanfiction. So really what I'm going to do is I'm going to, you know, give my take on what could have been different or what I would have done different with, uh, with the film. So my quick take on the film. I really enjoyed the film. I really liked it. I thought it was funny. I thought it, I thought the pace was really good. Uh, so overall, I did enjoy it. I would say that I didn't find it uh, too jokey as maybe some others did. Uh, I, for the most part, I think the the jokes worked for me. I, but I can see how it may not have worked for everyone. But for me, I think the jokes did work. And um, yeah, I, I did like the film. I really enjoyed it. I really enjoyed the chemistry between um, Natalie Portman and Chris Hemsworth. You know, it's been a while since she's been on in, in the uh, Thor movies. And I wasn't sure how the chemistry would be. If, um, you know, because I don't, you know, I haven't looked back. I haven't rewatched the previous ones where she came out on, uh, she came out in. But um, at least in this one, I thought the chemistry was really good, and and I'm glad to see that. I, it kind of surprised me a little bit. I thought there, were, there was going to be a little bit of um, getting to know each other, but you know, hey, it was good. So I really enjoyed it. Uh, but I guess the one negative would have to be with uh, the villain, uh, Gore the God Butcher. To me, that was the the downside or the letdown in the film, and I don't think they really fleshed out the character. I don't think they really gave, gave Gore um, enough screen time to really really show or explain. Well, they explain what you know his motivation, but. They could have gone further, and that's what's going to lead into my fan fiction. As far as my fan fiction, I would like to see Gore the God Butcher used a little bit differently. Uh, basically, to give him a little bit more layers to the character, right? Uh, to me, he was pretty one-dimensional. Once he uh, killed their, his god and was chosen by the Necro Sword. You know, he kind of became this mindless um, killer, right? So you don't really get to see um, like a full journey of his once he became the necro. Uh, once he got in, in, uh, possessed, if you will, by the necro sword, and that's where I think the film really lacked. That's where I really would have liked to seen them do it a little bit different. So for me, for like what I would have done differently, I would have liked to seen him go to the, the worlds that he went to, but before killing their God, talk to the people and, and basically explain to them and show them that their God is in helping them, that their God is just letting them down, letting them suffer and not really doing anything for them. And I think just that little tweak, it's not much, but just that little tweak, I think would have given the character more uh, more depth, just something more that we can be like, okay, okay, now I can kind of get behind this guy a little bit, sort of like with Thanos, right? Um, where, you know, you're okay, this guy is, you know, is not completely sane, but... You can sort of kind of make a, an excuse for uh, what he's trying to do. And you can kind of explain it a little bit. And I think by him basically talking to the people and telling them like, hey, look, my God didn't do anything for me. My, my daughter died. Your kids are suffering. You're suffering. And this God is, uh, you know, living in luxury, whatever, is having a good time. That's what I really would have liked to see um, with, the, with the film. I think that really would have given Gore a little bit more. Um, the other thing, so obviously screen time 
is something you know they have to take into consideration so what would i have removed to you know include those scenes honestly i would have removed the sif the sif scene i mean it really didn't do anything for the film um i like sif i you know i enjoy her i enjoy her character Jamie Alexander is really great as Sif, but it didn't do anything. They didn't use her. They didn't do anything with her. And that just, it was a shame, right? If they would have done something with her, maybe she could have joined the fight or something. But no, they just sent her to Asgard. And that's it, right? That was it. They made a joke like, oh, you're not in, you're not, you're not in Valhalla because you're not dead. And that's it. <laughs> that's it. They could have removed that scene and put a scene with, with Gore. That, so that's my my biggest gripe with the film. They should have used gore, you know, better. And that's one of the biggest, you know, um, critiques with Marvel has always been with the villain, right? Thor, I mean, uh, uh, Thanos is probably the, the, the high-level villain that everyone talks about. Like, okay, good villain. But then everyone else is like, you know, Thor, you know, Thanos, Loki. But then everyone else kind of falls down, you know, down the hill. It just doesn't really do anything, right? And this one sort of isn't that much different. It could have just been better, I, in my opinion, right? It just could have been better. And I don't know. That's what I would have done differently. And um, let me see. Let me look at my notes here. Um, yeah, I think that's that's pretty much everything that I had in my notes, what I would have done. Um, for those wondering, I have a notebook. <laughs> And if you watch any, like, um, car reviews and uh, someone, uh, the Late Break Show with Johnny Smith, he uses a notebook. So I kind of took the inspiration, a.k.a. copying, <laughs> copying him <laughs> and doing that. And I find it to be a little bit helpful with uh, just reviewing, quickly reviewing instead of just scrolling through my document, you know, like a digital document, uh, word processor and trying to see what I'm looking for. And I kind of just like writing it down. So I have a little notebook here. And it just keeps me, um, just reminds me of, of things that I should talk about or really want to talk about. So, yeah. So, I mean, overall, I did enjoy uh, the movie. And I just wish they would have done something more with Gore. I really do. I, I like the character. I like Kristen Bell's Gore. Ah, they just, to me, it's a missed opportunity with him, especially with him, with him being such a great actor. Ah, uh, it just, mm, it just could have been more. It could have been better. I know. Obviously, it's just my opinion, but uh, obviously, this is not going to make sense to anyone if you didn't see the movie. So watch the movie, and uh, the, you know this isn't like a really a spoiler review or anything like that, except for like the gore thing. But yeah, I hope you like the the you know my take on 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 uh, on the film, and uh, yeah, well, I'll uh, do more and. Thank you for watching and see you uh, on the next one. Thank you.